Generally speaking, I'm quite satisfied with how well um, animals are shipped through the system, because although it seems scary, it normally isn't, but uh, this one arrived with a hole completely in the side of the box. It's so deep, I noticed the FedEx that it actually went all the way through. Something during the shipping process was able to stab a massive hole into this, and it wasn't until I got home and realized, oh, the corn snake's not even secured in a bag. You can actually see the corn snake through this box. So this animal came from New York, meaning that who knows at what point in the process the hole appeared, but it had at least some sort of opportunity to leave this box and enter the realm of the FedEx shipping world. Now, sometimes this can be the fault of the shipper. Like say you put a, a bad type of tape on it and the tape comes off and the animal gets out. Yeah, the liability's on you. But in this case, they wouldn't have allowed you to ship a box in this condition. So it's pretty obvious that this happened during the shipping process. And the corn snake, yeah, he's just, he's just hanging out. On the bright side, he's rattling his tail. And since he's moving around, that means most likely he's gonna be okay. But when I went to FedEx and saw the hole, I was like, oh God, I hope he didn't like get hit by something which maybe he still did, let's find out. It's not very often we get corn snakes. I don't know why though, because they're kept pretty often. Uh, this person did not give any reason for rehoming. And let's see what's ha happening in here. He's, he's just hanging out. Um, there you go. The bag wasn't even tied. And the heat pack's not even, okay, basically, this was just terribly packed as well. So, let me, okay, if I can, I'm gonna have them slip in here for a moment. There you go, that's how you put a snake in a bag and not on the bag, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, for some reason people have a habit of putting animals in the bag but not tying the bag. And the instructions are literally so specific to where it says, tie the bag and make sure it is strong and secure. So we can actually see the damage now. Something went through the side and was actually strong enough to completely snap this piece of styrofoam, which obviously styrofoam's not very strong, but that was some blunt trauma on there. And luckily the corn snake does not show any signs of any issues. It, it feels normal and everything. Also the heat pack was up against it. Thankfully it's not burned because these get really hot. It's still very hot. And I mean, it hurts my hand to hold it on for too long, which is good when it's used properly, but. So it's an adult male corn snake, uh, some sort of albino named Oscar, but he's healthy and active and definitely warm. I can actually feel the heat radiating like through him from that heat pack. And it was just a case of getting unlucky where both the shipping process did not go too great, nor did the packing process. But at the same time, I guess we're lucky because he ended up safe and sound in the end. So overall, yeah, this is just a shorter, quick video. I just wanted to kind of throw this out there. Uh, I haven't uploaded in about over a week or so, and I had been doing pretty good. I was uh, uploading every couple days, but it's because I have been trying to kind of speed run through some of these intakes because basically it's going to be too cold here in North Carolina in a couple months and too cold in the most popular states animals come from. So New York and Michigan and Illinois, I don't know why this is most popular, but aside from California, those are the states that get way too cold that are also the most popular. So that's why I'm trying to focus all my energy on the animals right now. And once they're out, I'm going to try and take a little bit of a break from that so that I can just focus on content, which will be nice. So uh, yeah, a bunch of animals are coming in the next two weeks or so, and then hopefully they'll be healthy enough that they'll be on the site and available at emeraldscales.com to purchase within like two months or so. Uh, basically before the end of the year. Then the start of 2022, which is surprisingly close, will be hopefully calm. I mean, I really can't predict it, but it should be, I'm, I'm really hoping it'll be the most calm year yet. Not uneventful, not boring, just not as stressful. And so yes, I'm purposely putting more work on myself right now, but it'll be temporary and I have an end in sight. So if you've been waiting to rehome an animal, unfortunately, you waited for a bad time because as of recording and posting this video, uh, you cannot. I disabled the intakes on the site, meaning that nobody else can get in line. Currently there's 46 people waiting and that's down from about 65 a couple weeks ago, which is good. Animals have been going up and shipping off. I've shipped like 10 in the past couple weeks and a lot of these people rehome multiple animals. So of the 46 remaining in line, uh, I'm working on it. 
and I think that it'll all be done before it gets too cold. Of course, I still can't rush. I still gotta make sure each animal is healthy and good to go, but I'll be honest. I really like being a YouTuber and I want to mostly be a YouTuber. I want my title to be YouTuber. I want my time to go towards the videos and not just towards the animals because there's only so much energy I have mentally to put towards them. So most likely there will be fewer videos over the next few weeks, maybe even a month or two. I'll still be posting, but not as much as I want to. And then once animals like these are good to go and gone, <laughs> then you can expect more. And I'm confident that that'll go well. But yeah, thanks for your support, whether you purchase animals or just watch the videos. But if you'd like, you can join Patreon because I've been doing this kind of podcast sort of thing where I just talk about whatever topics you request over on Patreon. So I've done five or six of those. They're about 30 minutes to an hour. So that's, I mean, extra content if you want to just throw it on and listen. Because I like to listen to just simple, casual chats while I'm driving or working on stuff. And so I thought I'd make some myself. This corn snake, I can conclude, has not been affected by the shipping experience. So I'll go get them set up in an enclosure. But that's it for this video. I'm Alex, and thanks for watching.